Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, um, we're going to cover something that's not entirely fam family friendly. Um, this is definitely an interesting comedy. It's a favorite of mine. I probably won't show it to my kids until maybe middle school because there are some inappropriate jokes in here. Um, mildly sexist jokes in here now that I think of it. But it's supposed to be really, really stupid. And it's one of those films that a lot of really good actors do. I almost predict they do this literally just for the fun of it. They are, they know this thing is going to make a bunch of money. They want to interact with each other. And they want to make something that's just absolutely, utterly entertaining. And yeah, they do it with this. This is Down Periscope. This is a Kelsey, which basically it's starring Kelsey Grammer. It has William H. Macy in here. You have Rob Snyder. You have... Lauren Holly, you have a few other actors in here. Um, the basis of this film is Kelsey Grammer's character plays Lieutenant Dodge, I believe his name is. Um, yeah, Lieutenant Commander Tom Dodge. Now he's a, he's been desperately, he's a submariner and he's desperate to get his own, basically his own boat, his own submarine. But he's being held back by something he didn't know, quite know how old he was. He was probably very young and very dumb. And um, odd warning here for people who have uh, sensitive of talking about certain nether regions. And this is a standing joke. Uh, again, this is not for children. He gets a tattoo on his penis. And that's apparently got prevented him from uh, advancing. So. He's brought by, I can't remember the name of the name of the character. So he's this, I believe it's four star general who um, essentially he's to be part of a series of war games where if he succeeds, he'll get his own regular fancy submarine. But he has to have a ragtag crew with a diesel sub and has to, I think he has to get two things. Norfolk is the last one. And he, apparently this, this is one of those, you have the higher general and the guy slightly below him who's really, really irritating and cranky and hates our main character like crazy and wants him to go away. So he's the one who picks the crew you, and the ship is falling apart. It's very, very rusted. Um, Bob Schneider's character is his lieutenant who is, whiny and irritating and very much by the book and can't think anywhere else and I think he tries to um, stage a mutiny and ends up being forced to walk the plank onto a fishing boat. They don't kill him. There's no killing in this. Um, it's very, very funny. There is some... Uh, Lauren Holly is the first female on a sub. Yes, they make some sexist jokes in here about her boob size. Um, but she, ha her, her character is actually very smart and Kelsey Grammer definitely respects her. His character respects her and the men get yelled at for shrinking, I think, her clothing in the beginning. So yes, there are some sexist jokes in here and I think he apologizes for it because his crew is stupid. So it, it can get on the kind of the inappropriate side. So. But that's, I think, the, they only do that once. Um, she actually helps win the day. So they, basically, he has a ragtag crew and a diesel sub that's loud. And he has to uh, beat primarily uh, William H. Macy, which was his, his former captain. Now, Macy's character isn't, he's not antagonistic. He's not the, he's not the villain. He's just doing his job. It's the other guy who's, what is his name? Um, let's see. Is it this guy? Yes. It's uh, Rear Admiral Yancey Graham. So the image of him looks very, very, he's very, very old. Um, he's normally, that's what he does. He's the, he's the villain there. Um, so. He's the real villain. He actually shrinks the uh, war game area after uh, Dodge's team manages to hit their first target. 
by pretending to be a ship of drunken th drunken fishermen. <laughs> so he uses unusual tactics. It's one of those you have a ragtag crew of a ship that's falling down who beats all the technology. I mean, that's the kind of main basic. He, he uses unusual tactics, uh, occasionally dangerous tactics, in order to win the day, which he does. And then the, you also have this competition between this Yancey character and let's see, um, see if I can find the, do you not actually see? Yes, the no, that's Macy's character. Oh dear, I can't even, he's not listening listing um yes no it is it's uh it's rip torn who plays vice admiral dean winslow he's the commander of the supreme so the com commander of the submarine force in the u.s navy of the atlantic fleet so um it's a competition between these guys one's the real big guy in charge the other one's not and the one who loses gets very very mad and gets in trouble because he, he actually ends up on the Stingray. Well, the Stingray is their ship. The other, what is the other ship? Here we go. Let me find that. Uh, the commander of the USS Orlando, which is Macy's ship. And he tries to, he pretty much takes over because he, he wants revenge. He is just highly pissed off. Of, so, and why technically they actually do, the Orlando does actually sink the Stingray. The Stingray has already shot off its torpedoes, which are actually live shots. They're shot at a dummy ship. So why they technically are dead, they still have, with a diesel sub, have snuck in to Norfolk Harbor. So that is the entire basis of the film. There's a lot of jokes. Um, various odd things with whale songs and, um, fart jokes and pouring alcohol into a submarine thing, into submarine engines. None of this is realistic, but again, that's not the point. Uh, it has similar humor to Spaceballs, though not quite as much swearing. So if, that, that, if you're familiar with that film, that is the vein of what this is. Again, depending on your family, Middle school would probably be the youngest, more likely high school. There are some questionable stuff. This film came out in, let me roll up to the top, 1996. I have seemed to be covering 90s films far too often these days. I probably did, I saw this on HBO at some point, probably when I was in high school. So, only later high school. So, again, it, it's late, middle school would be the youngest. Younger kids aren't gonna get this. There is some sexism in here. Uh, there are fart jokes. Uh, there's obviously penis jokes and a few other kind of interesting things. But it's a fun film. If you're looking for something to make your teenagers laugh, if particularly if you're homeschoolers and it's been a rough couple of weeks, it's you guys are burnt out, you're having arguments with your kids and you're looking for a way to connect over some very, very stupid comedy, this is it. This is something like, come sit with me, let's throw this in and just laugh. It's stupid. There are, again, some inappropriate jokes, but it's fun. And that's kind of the point. It's fun. It's a fun film to probably watch with your teenager just to bond and to enjoy something and kind of relax. Uh, if you're interested in submarines, you can kind of look at some of the stupid stuff that they do, uh, which just, it's like, oh dear. Yeah, no, this would never happen. Though I think the diesel thing might actually be real, but obviously it's not meant to be realistic whatsoever. It's all about the comedy and the fun and the insanity and some of, there's also some very weird gambling and sports jokes going on in here. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's fun. It's supposed to be fun. It knows what it is. It's not trying to be serious. Again, there's a lot of great actors in here. William H. Macy is amazing. Uh, Kelsey Grammer is just absolutely, utterly hilarious as Dodge in this. It's, he's, he's the type of captain who's like, 
I'm going to try something and I'm going to take chances. And that's what gets him a fancy sub. And there's a whole subplot where you have a guy who's been periodically trying to get himself kicked out of the Navy. And Dodge, I think, asks him, like, why don't you just, this is a volunteer, why don't you just resign? And he's like, my father's an admiral. Yep. So, um, yeah, the guy who's been trying to root Dodge on, that's his son. <laughs> And it's interesting. It's again, it's a fun, it's a fun, fun, it's a fun film. There's a lot of jokes in here. So that's really it for this review. Not much to this film. Enjoyable to throw in and watch with your teenagers for a laugh. It has some corny jokes. It, it, it's an entertainment, it, it's entertaining to watch this pirate light crew to beat these fancy submarines. And that's, that's pretty much the extent of it. So that's it for this review. If you like what you see, um, I have some other fun stuff coming here in November. I also have the more serious stuff I'm covering, some Native American children's books, some um, Smithsonian educational material on Native Americans this month. Um, I've done, October was packed with Dracula and Frankenstein and some good Halloween stuff if you wanna go back and look at some of that. September, uh, I start Harry Potter, finish Harry Potter in October. Uh, yes, I cover all of it, films and all. Uh, I also cover some Tamora Pierce books. I'm covering the Circle Opens Quartet this month along with the Native American stuff, just to try to lighten it up a little bit if you haven't seen my introduction. Um, covering a, a couple of other uh, older films, fun stuff, trying to do it just a little bit of light it. It's for a lot of families, it's kind of the end of the school year. And it, I wanna add some stuff that's just kind of enjoyable. It's also the reason I'm covering some of the Tamora Pierce stuff because it happens to be something I enjoy. So I also have a, if you wanna check out some of the rest of my stuff, I have a lot of book reviews. I have Anne of Green Gables. I have the Wizard of Oz series, including both film uh, adaptations of those. A bunch of other book reviews, children's book reviews, some homeschooling videos if you wanna check those uh, out. This is a secular homeschooling channel, so we are not religious. I do homeschooling stuff on occasion um, when it comes up. I have some travel, travel videos as well, focusing on traveling with young children, if you want to check those out. I have a bunch more planned. December has a bunch of, I have children's, some several, I think four children's books uh, coming, including How the Grinch Stole Christmas and The Polar Express along with a few others, along with uh, film realizations, some cooking stuff coming up in January, and a bunch of other stuff planned. So like and subscribe and check me out. Thank you.